Hello everybody, welcome back to Nature Calls. Anthony here, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about, well, one year of having a Tesla solar roof, and part of that one year, we also had uh, the, the power walls. But uh, most of this focus of this video is gonna be about the roof itself, because I haven't had the power walls for, well, not even six months yet. Um, but the roof I've had for over a year. So I'm just gonna go through my experience with it so far. Um, you know, what's really good about it, uh, the one thing that's uh, still uh, a work in progress, and, uh, you know, just kind of give you an idea on my experience. The roof itself, still looking as gorgeous as ever. Um, it functions great, produces a ton of electricity. If we didn't have two electric vehicles, it would be more than enough electric, but since we have both a Model Y and a Model 3. Uh, we, we run a very small electric bill every month, um, especially in the summer, because currently we're running the air conditioning, uh, the pool, you know, lights and fans and stuff like that. Um, but the electric bill is still pretty modest, somewhere around uh, like $80 or so, sometimes a little bit cheaper. Uh, I don't think it's really been too much more than that though so really good in the past it was like 400 so solid solid numbers um and at the same point in time we're saving on uh you know filling up gas vehicles since while well, we're just charging our electric ones off the power that the tesla solar roof is creating so we're saving uh several hundred dollars just in fuel costs uh every single month month and especially with rising prices that would be probably closer to like six hundred dollars five five hundred dollars a month between the between the two vehicles give or take i kind of stopped keeping track of that since that's not an expense that i'm really looking at anymore since this kind of takes care of that you know i, I do add in the money i'm saving into what i kind of owe on this and how long it's going to take to pay off which is really right on track it should only be like four more years or or less at this rate um with that though, let's take a closer look at some things uh, going on outside here. We'll, we'll take a peek at uh, the beautiful power walls there. They do their job and they definitely complete uh, the Tesla solar roof package. Um, the roof is definitely not as good without the power walls and the power walls I think would not be as good without the roof. Together they really do make um, a really great pair and then of course you do tie them with the, the vehicles then you got you got the trifecta all right so we still got our Tesla box set up here all the information still in place from when uh, they did the install of the new uh, you know gateway and running the uh, the additional lines back here to uh, the power walls because that was a, a separate installation from uh, the roof actually being installed. The roof itself, though, I think is still looking really good. Uh, it seems to really be holding up nicely, and uh, the water runs off it fantastic. I'm having no issues with uh, the water running off too fast and missing the gutters too much. I'm not having any soil erosion problems or anything like that. Some people seem pretty concerned about that. Uh, that has not been the case. Uh, we've had some high winds here too. Um, we'll have actually high winds uh, you know, throughout the year because this is a hurricane and well, more. we're going to walk into nor'eastern season in the next couple of months too. But again, it's all held up so nice. Uh, it still looks brand new, which, well, it should, especially for the price. All right, so moving down to the power walls. Power walls are looking fantastic. This one's been taken over by the, the shrubbery, but um, super reliable, absolutely zero issues uh, with them, and the installation was nice and quick. You can actually check out my video on the channel um, of the little breakdown of them installing these. One day in and out, they do it in less than eight hours. Really impressive, and at night, at night, these puppies glow green out of the sides here. And uh, it has a cool, really like alien technology looking effect. Um, they've already actually come in really handy. Uh, we've probably lost power 
like a half dozen times already. And you know, I'll have like 3D printers running or I'll be doing work on uh, you know, the computer and you know, be modeling something, you know, in CAD or whatever and it you know, I haven't backed it up or whatever. And well, it would be really sad to have the power just drop out. Well, these have definitely saved me several times uh, in those different aspects, just in, besides the fact that it's just convenient to just have your lights on and, you know, if you're trying to make dinner or whatever, you still have power to, to do things instead of just waiting around for the electric, electric company to go and solve it for you. Okay, so uh, that was all the, the good stuff, or at least the things that come to mind. I'm going to hit on now <laughs> the, the one thing Tesla still needs to fix. Yes, there is still one problem with uh, the whole installation and it has nothing to do with how it's performing or anything on the outside of the house. All that's fine. We are going to head inside my house and check out this, this beautiful hole that has uh, been hanging out there since April. Um, it is now uh, like the last day or so in August, so it's going to be September soon. So we, we've, had, we've had this hole in our living room uh, since April. I'll probably make its own separate video when Tesla decides to fix it, uh, making fun of them for how long it takes them to fix a, a hole. Um, <laughs> there's definitely, honestly, there's definitely some middle tier management problems. The guys on the ground seem great, but like their bosses' bosses are, they suck. And they can't keep people, it seems like. But this also seems like everybody's problem at this point. But they, they still, it's not an excuse they need to work on it because uh, it'll make their company much better. So let's go inside and check out the hole. All right, so uh, here's, here's the hole and here's my, my sheetrock. And the hole keeps going up under this painting because under the painting here is the uh, you know, power control box. You know, it has all this, the circuit breakers, the circuit breaker box. Uh, this hole was cut to run the line to the power walls. So there's a big thick cable, power cable in there that's running and attaching uh, the whole system together. The house to uh, you know, the inverters and the solar roof and all of that to the power wall so it can all intercommunicate, uh, which is fantastic. The only thing that isn't fantastic is the fact that this hole has been sitting here in the living room now for, um, I don't know, four months, or however many months that is since April of 2021. So <laughs> I'll keep you guys updated uh, when that gets fixed soon, hopefully. All right, so uh, that's, that's the one year update. No like groundbreaking news of it, you know, completely failing. Uh, the solar roof products from Tesla and the power walls might be the best thing or most consistent thing they've ever made. The vehicles are great, don't get me wrong, but they're computer on wheels. And, you know, depending on what software update you're on or, or whatever, sometimes, sometimes they seem to have a mind of their own. The house, on the other hand, with the roof and power walls, beautiful. Ultra consistent, ultra reliable, and well, that's, that's what you want. The only thing not reliable about this is them getting around to fix the hole in my wall that's in my living room. Um, we have gone through like four, four Tesla managements now. Um, we get, you know, get one person, we're like, hey, uh, you know, you guys were here a month ago. Can you, uh, can you come patch my wall? Sure, or we'll get around to that. Hey, it's been two weeks since I heard from you uh, when you patched my wall. Oh, this is so-and-so. Uh, so-and-so is not working here anymore. And then that's the story for every single person. Now we're on our fourth or fifth one uh, now, which doesn't, doesn't, it doesn't look great. That's, that's, that's for sure. That definitely doesn't look great for Tesla. Hopefully they can get that under control. Other than that, I highly recommend one of these roofs. Um, it's, it's a fantastic investment, and I think it's working really well for me. Of course, weigh all the options out for yourself and get a quote from Tesla before going forward. I had a, an amazing uh, setup here where my whole roof, or most of it, faces basically dead south. So I get amazing sun year round. And it's the big, big side with all the panels. Um, other than that, if you are interested in a roof, uh, check out 
uh, my code down below. You can save some money off a Tesla roof, or if you want to pick up a Tesla vehicle, you can use the, uh, the code for that too, and you can get some free miles out of it. All right, so other than that, happy to update you guys on what's going on here. I know it's been a little while. I've been very busy. Um, we got plenty of other videos to uh, cover in the future. Uh, actually, the, the Y is over a, a year old now, too, and it's got 50,000 plus miles on it. Uh, the 3 now is at like 10,000 miles and probably, probably really, actually probably broke the six months thinking about it now. We've been busy. More videos to come, so stay tuned. Please like and subscribe. And as always, have an excellent day and thank you for watching.